Hello everyone, this is Salil from AdNapu. I'm the co-founder of AdNapu. We make Shopify apps. We have an app for Google Shopping feed. Today's video's topic is about uh, uh, shipping related issues in Google Merchant Center. I'll talk about uh, the main reasons why products are disapproved in uh, Google Merchant Center uh, due to this shipping rate issue. Uh, there are a bunch of reasons uh, for it and I'll uh, talk to you the most important ones, the ones that I see the most uh, with customers. The first one is career-based uh, uh, career based uh, shipping rates, right? Um, now, CAD, Google Merchant Center has a list of countries which support career-based uh, shipping rates. Um, these are only the five countries that uh, Google Merchant Center supports. On the other hand, Shopify supports much more. Um, so if you are shipping to a country which is not in this list, you, let's let's say for example uh, Italy, right? And you have carrier-based shipping rates available in Shopify. You cannot copy the same to Google Merchant Center because Google does not support it. Now this is a big issue, right? So ensure that you have uh, some kind of an alternate way of shipping rates in Google Merchant Center. It could be a price-based uh, shipping rate or a weight-based shipping rate, uh, but please ensure that uh, you are covering uh, uh, the country, right? Also, even if uh, uh, you know these countries are supported by Google Merchant Center, uh, some of these uh, carriers are not supported by Shopify. For example, Geodesk is not supported by Shopify, right? by default at least. Uh, so be careful while doing this change. Uh, you It might not work uh, if you just copy the same settings in uh, Shopify to Google Merchant Center because Google Merchant Center does not support a lot of these carriers. Okay, uh, that is the first one. Um, so let me show you an example of that. Um, so in Shopify, I can um, change this uh, uh, shipping settings. For, I'm, I'm going to do that for UK and show you what uh, options I have. I only have these options, right? Now, DHL, UPS, USPS. Here, um, Google Merchant Center supports a lot more, right? But it might not support uh, uh, it one-to-one. -one. There are... Um, different rates for DHL as well. Only some of those options are supported by Google Merchant Center. So be very, very careful while you are copying carrier-based uh, carrier based, uh, carrier -based uh, shipping rates. Uh, okay, uh, the second one is about coverage, right? Uh, and I, I'll uh, show you an example of uh, a sample setting that a lot of uh, customers use, um, which is to have a minimum value for their uh, cart value, minimum cart value basically. So uh, the way they implement it is to have a price and below which they will not do any kind of a shipping. So under $50, there is no shipping. Let me just save this setting and show you what, what the issue is. Okay, I have uh, just saved it. Um, so what happens is if this will work in Shopify, Right? This kind of a setting will work in Shopify, but when you upload products which has price of less than $50 to Google Merchant Center, Google will not be able to get uh, uh, a shipping setting uh, for it, right? and this will result in disapproval of that product. Let me show you an example. This is a product which has $10 uh, price, and because of the change that we made, we will not be able to get a shipping rate for it. Right. There is no shipping rate. It is unknown. Now, if I just end, so to uh, fix this uh, problem, what I recommend is that if you think uh, shipping, uh, if the value of the product is less than, if value of the cart is less than $50 is a problem, then ensure that uh, you charge more, right? Um, so what you do is zero to $50 instead of no shipping, do a fixed rate of, let's say, sorry, $15, right? And let's click on save here. Go back to 
this product. And you can see that the $15 is uh, now visible. You can, uh, the idea is that you have to ensure that all of your products will have some shipping value. It cannot be, uh, zero is also fine, but uh, not available will shouldn't be the, uh, shouldn't be uh, uh, the setting. Okay, um, the third one that I want to talk about is about currency mix matches, right? And let's say you are selling a product in Italy and you are, uh, sending the value as the instead of dollars you're sending it as euros right um but you have shipping rate defined in your merchant send in shopify as in dollars um and you copy the same thing to google merchant center right google will not convert this uh, shipping rate automatically right google will disapprove the product because it did not get a specific uh, shipping rate in that currency uh, so ensure that if you are sending any product in uh, uh, euros, you need to have the corresponding shipping settings in Google Merchant Center in that currency as well. The final one is actually missing country. And this uh, seems very straightforward. Um, but what happens is a lot of uh, customers would just create shipping settings for one or two countries and then later add new countries uh, uh, for uh, in, in their Merchant Center. And Google cannot, Google will not have a, a worldwide setting, shipping setting, right? It don't, it only has country-wide shipping settings. And they would miss adding shipping settings for a particular country. Uh, so don't do that. Ensure that whenever you add a new country, uh, you add the corresponding uh, shipping rates as well. These are the four main uh, problems that I have seen. Hopefully I have uh, helped you to solve them as well. Please let us know in comments if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you, thank you for watching.